Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 19th of 2024 is titled IC 5146, the Cocoon Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an example of a star forming region. And in fact, the nebula around that star forming region is about 15 light years across. So we're forming a cluster of stars here. Now, once the stars start to form, we see the different types of nebulae that are present. The very beginnings of a star formation, it tends to be very dark. There's not a lot of light. Well, the stars haven't formed yet, so there's not going to be a lot of light. But as the stars start to form, then they will start start to illuminate the regions around them and we start to get all the various types of nebulae that we see here. And in fact, toward the center, we see a very young star that is energizing the region around it. It's energizing hydrogen gas, and that gives that distinct pinkish red glow that we see. That happens when hydrogen gas has been ionized. We've stripped electrons off it by the ultraviolet radiation from this star. And when those electrons recombine, then they give off very specific wavelengths of light. And in the case of visible light, it tends to be a very reddish color that we get for hydrogen gas. Since hydrogen gas makes up 90% of the atoms in the universe, that tends to be very prominent here. Now, eventually, that star will start to eat away at this material. Its intense energy will clear away the nebula around it, as well as other stars that are beginning to form there. And will eventually clear out all the dust and gas that we see in this region. So we see the gas in terms of the pink color. We also see dust in the darker regions. Those are a little bit denser areas. Stars may still be trying to form here. And it's kind of a challenge to them. Will they be able to form a star before the other stars that have already formed eat away at the material there and push it away, not allowing them to gain enough mass to actually become stars. Now, as you look around the nebula, you can see that pink color of hydrogen gas. You can also see the darker dusty areas, but you'll also see a number of blue nebulae. Now the blue nebulae are actually a little bit different. These are what we call reflection nebulae. Now a reflection nebula also occurs around a hot star, but it doesn't have to do with absorption of its energy. It has to do as you might guess from the name with reflection of that light. And in fact, the dust around a star will scatter light and it will be very good at scattering short wavelength light as compared to long wavelength light blue wavelengths are shorter, they get scattered much more easily. And it seems to come from all of that dust around it. So the red light would just penetrate through the dust and head out into space. The blue light gets scattered around and seems to come from that entire nebula. Similar to what we see within our own atmosphere, where the light from the sun, when it's low in the sky, gets scattered all over the place, making the rest of the sky appear blue. And it will appear blue instead because of that scattering of molecules in our atmosphere in that case, not the same as exactly the same as the dust here. But the overall effect is very similar, giving us that blue color of the sky. So again, eventually those stars will eat away, push this material out, disperse it out into space, and then the dust and gas will be gone. We'll see only vague filaments left of them, and we will have a new cluster of stars that will be there. How long will that take? Well, we're looking at hundreds of thousands of years that it will take to slowly clear out the material over those vast distances. So that was our picture of the day for August 19th of 2024. It was titled IC 5146, the Cocoon Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.